Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, I am your Dungeon Master, All Dragon, and the players are... Hi, I'm David Big Mac Shepherd. I play Braxton Miak, who's a human fighter and the captain of the ship, the Company of the Broken Sword Union. Hi, I'm Daikami Sama, and I play Solas Ab Ebha, who is half Elven Cleric Mage of Ogoma. Hey, I'm James. I play Akar, human pilot of the Brawl and second, of, second in command of the... Hilt? That's the name of ship, right? The, the Blade. Blade. Yeah, hello everyone, I'm Sula Motor. I play Finalar Mahani, a druid from Grayspace. Hey there, I'm uh, Zack, and I play the character of Lafto Minglade, a special priest thief, multi-class, uh, from Avermay, yeah, you should come visit if you're an elf. Um, yeah, his gimmick is coming up with titles, and he has a... Uh, well, it's more of a self-reflection. So his current title is The Decadence of Folly. In that his recent like um, desire to get the uh, flags and do something for the elves is like it's it's like an indulgence. It's a it's an incredibly terrible idea, but it's so good if it pays off. So in a way, he's like foolish, but you know he's indulging indulging in his uh, folly in a way. I mean, flags and banners tend to have outsized uh, importance for yeah, being a piece of cloth. Yeah. So, And we are missing one player. Leva's player should be here uh, a little bit later. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, get back in. You were traveling uh, through the caverns of uh, Cthon Space. Uh, Margoth, your uh, new goblin guide companion person, um, has told you that you'll be uh, meeting up with a ship of her friends to, uh, you know, discuss what they need. Uh, but that's still uh, a couple days away. Now, mm. I think there was... Um, there were a couple things that uh, might needed to have happened. Um, uh, Braxton, you had forgotten something at the yeah. uh, at the, the um, spyglass. Yeah. So Braxton, I mean, we as people forgot, but Braxton would not have forgotten as a, uh, a character. Uh, so I think you would have gotten a. You would have. You know, made a quick stop by to to pick up, pick it up, and get the the quote. Uh, and they would have told you seven hundred gold for the replacement glass, and okay. it would take um, at least a month. A month, yeah. right? Yeah. To okay. order it, they'd have to oh, get it. They'd have, have to, to get it have... commissioned and crafted. Ooh. They don't usually they have to... stock that kind of supply. They have to make a bit of glass, and they have to they have to polish yeah. it down to the right shape. So they got to polish it for the the width of the spyglass. Maybe we'd be better to just buy a new spyglass at that point, since I don't think we're gonna be here for an entire month. At least I hope not. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, I think we I think an know. entire a new one is a bit more expensive than that. So three hundred gold more expensive, and and it's this... also do they have one in stock? At the end of the day, you could get a replacement and then just sell your repaired one to one of the other crew party members. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And then but... you would only be, well, 700 gold out of pocket, I suppose. So going an entire month of our spyglass, I feel like it's best to get a replacement. You should probably have one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if we both had one, then uh, then uh, one getting broken wouldn't leave us without spyglass. I mean, if you want to, if, if someone wants to retcon that they uh, purchased one, I'm okay with that. Would they do? Do you think they would do part exchange? What part exchange, exchange the broken one for a replacement? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. How much is it for a new one? And do they have any? A thousand, thousand. Yeah. Straight and thousand. they do. 
Uh, I suppose I would have had to have bought one, grudgingly. Well, no, you don't. You wouldn't have to. It's up to you. Um, what's mm. it been? What's what's the visibility been like in this place? Because um, the tunnels seem relatively small. Uh, I suppose it was a... no, the tunnels are not relatively small. They're they're gigantic. Um, right. Uh, you could fit some planets in in these. Oh right. Okay. Um, the thing though is that it's very dark, so yeah. Uh, being able to see further is still only of limited use. Yeah, yeah. Just wondering if me and Solos could come up with some kind of lens. No. Well, no, it, that it is, that is highly, could... highly precision work. It would have come down to whether you could use a spell to repair all those bits of glass and turn them back into a lens. And I don't know that that's possible. Probably also got a bit... There are spells that do that, but not that I have access to them currently. If that or had been cast actually. when it happened, maybe, but I think at this point some pieces have gone missing. Yeah, it's too so late it wouldn't now. have everything. You have to cast at the spot, because there's no way you'd find all the glass fragments. Yeah. yeah. Um, I suppose, uh, is it hard to fit once you have the replacement glass? Yeah, you you wouldn't what? just be able to pop it in. Uh, precision work yeah. would need to be done to uh, mm. get it back in place. You need like specialized tools. Yeah, and you need you need craftsmen for that knows how to make spy glasses. Popping it out's the easy bit. <laughs> well, no, even that. I mean, it's not not easy to pop it out. It had to shatter to to come out. Uh, yeah, well, I was yeah, joking. <laughs> metal was deformed and it crushed it. Braxton, would you feel better about buying the spy glass if I help cover half the price? Um, well, it's it's not so much that. Um, it's I'll have to get the other one fixed. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Um. I suppose Braxton uh, buy it if they've got one. Yep. I was sort of thinking we might might be able to save up and get a magical one, but that'd be more money. So you're buying it all by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you uh, you had purchased a uh, replacement spyglass, so that that's a thousand gold. Thank you. Yeah, I'll su subtract that off. Um, Oka, uh, do you want a? broken spyglass that you can get repaired. I guess I can hang on to it for now. <laughs> um, okay, right I'll on. see about getting it repaired when we get the brawl. Yeah. We'll find out how much it costs to repair on brawl. It might be dearer or cheaper. Okay. Probably going to be cheaper at the very least, but well, yeah. I mean, compared to here, who knows. I'd rather do two points I know we're going back to instead of one that we may be coming back to. Yeah. So Braxton and I will thank the people from the Arcane and go back to the ship and all that. What, what else did we forget? Uh, I, I don't think there was anything else forgotten, but uh, Solus needs. Uh, Solus has a fifth level spell that he needs to uh, take. Yeah, I've decided my spell. Okay. It's Monster Summoning 3. Okay. Oh, fun. That means I need some more minions. You do need to roll for... Yeah, actually, I, I, I will need to uh, make some tokens for that. I don't think I have... Mm -hmm. uh... I need to roll... Uh... Uh, actually, I do have that. All right. Um, you need to roll for pages. You do not need to roll for learning, because that's automatic. So it was D6 plus uh, level minus one. Correct. So Is there a be... limit on how many... Minions he can summon. Oh wow! No. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's see what happens. As many as the uh, as many spells as he has is capable of casting. That yeah. is really lucky. I mean, if he took literally every single spell slot that he could as a monster summoning spell, then yeah, he could summon tons mm -hmm. and tons of creatures. And uh, monster summoning three summons uh, level three monsters. 
or third level spell. Similar but uh, third level monsters, uh, so should be better monsters. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes the, the whole point is just to uh, um, put up screens of creatures, but yeah, there's mm -hmm. definitely some, some good ones I'm looking at. Mm. Yeah, I'm right definitely taking these monster summoning spells as a means to put on screens and distractions to enemies. Mm -hmm. Oh, just because you don't want things hugging you and getting up close to you. Well, it's also, for, oh, oh, also, also it's for the rest of the party. This can also protect your flanks. So, so like, it's just... like you're sour about something. What? So it's it's not me... just for me, this protection that these monsters give. Yeah. All so right. it's just a sort of thing where you, you summon them before someone casts Bless. So they get a Bless. Nah, they don't last that long, so... Luckily, I don't need any more sp new spell components since it has just the same spell components as the Monster Summoning 1. Yep. Does mean your 5th level spells can be useless in the flood just on there. Yeah. He can always, he... He can always uh, uh, see about trying to study other 5th level spells like yeah. from Lever or something. Yeah. Yeah, you can copy spells like Sending, etc. Um... Yeah. Speaking of, uh, you're still writing Lever's book, right? I'm not writing, I'm creating the papers right. and binding it together. Vaguely, how long you got left? A week? Less? Uh, two weeks. Oof. Yeah, if you go right. into his room, See, he's, he's pretending to do an invisible Rubik's I'm cube. just wondering, do you have time to prepare your suspended animation at this point, if you're so busy all day? For multiple weeks, because at this point, I'm mm. uh, I'm I'm leaving that suspended animation on the when it's a, a really dire situation. But you have to make it though. It takes a while. How long does it take? It takes a. Does it like a one? week? No, it doesn't take a week. I remember it took a long time. It was one or two days to prepare the. Uh, but uh, uh, one day, three days of yeah. treatment, but uh, exact in care. So all your time. Mm -hmm. Well, while you're doing that, Braxton's wondering whether a, a, a table is male or female in Goblin. What? Or if they use gender pronouns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically, basically, Braxton is learning if a Goblin has masculine or feminine words. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, was there anything else that uh, came up during the week that uh, anyone wanted to uh, get done, either that would have happened up to this point or would happen at the very beginning of this day, kind of thing? I because it is genuinely the start of a new day. cannot remember if I used my um, memory read. If it's the start of a new day, I mean the previous day, then I assume that it failed. I'm pretty sure I would have cast it and all would have said. I remember yeah. one in the stream, but I don't remember if that... Yeah, I'm just going to see my... Are. I've cast it. I'll just have to cast a new one when this shift's done. Yeah, I mean, it's a new day, so unless you want to cast it at the very beginning of the day, um, just do no. it like, on your shift or something like that. I do it before I go to bed, so I can just be exhausted and just get the sack. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Would that stop also, you from having a nice, good night's sleep? I'm going to see if I can... <laughs> uh, I get a uh, Solus. I, oh, I go to Solus. Knock on the store when he's not busy. It's like I knock. Solus, you there? Yes. I, 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 can I come in? You agree? Yes, I'll open the door. All right. No, I, I, I obviously go in and basically say I have uh, concerns for yeah, Sifia. I think she is dying. Um, I'm not sure what the cause is, but I, if she keeps on degrading the way she's degrading, she'll be dead. I don't know. 
either she, the food we're giving her or she's if she's not human she may need to revert to her, her non-human form maybe she's been maintaining it for too long hmm i mean this way your suspended animation would preserve her life <laughs> yes that is true but yeah no i was just wondering if you could give a second opinion because i mean i've checked over her but i don't know you go over well, and she it? did. Uh, she did have quite a bad, uh, bad reaction to Leva spell. Yeah, I doubt it's that. Though. I mean, the way um, Leva did Leva say to Finn or to everyone about Finn being a tasty cat? Is Leva around? No, I think she joined. Uh, I'm sorry. Did Leva say what? You remember when Finn transformed into a cat? Yes, and you I got remember thoughts that, uh, that um, Finn would make a tasty snack. Did you show that only with she, Finn? I don't. I don't think she would have told anyone, except she would have grinned and laughed about it. Well, Finn has but, been but, playing. Uh, if there was nobody as there, as then, Finn, then she would not Finn have has told been, anyone. Finn has been playing as if he knew. So I think that for the it's purposes of that, you at least would have told him. Oh y yes. Because he was there, but the others weren't. He couldn't. Uh, he couldn't have reacted unless unless he knew. There were, he couldn't have reacted the way he did unless he knew. And uh, I so think I was there because him. I remember you being annoyed at me because I kept uh, wanting to do a thieves count with. I'm not saying that, but you know, um, I went to use thieves count on Sard, not Sard. Um, Red and Yord, and you remember you getting annoyed at me for interrupting you, so. All I think I was there. Yeah, it could have been in that case. I mean, if I would three of you no. were there, if I remember correctly. <laughs> hmm? yeah. All three of you were there, if I remember yeah. correctly. In that case, uh, you would have known love to. Right, you so were, each I of would... you were casting spells on them. I mean, I remember Sophia loving torture, and obviously she likes to thing, eat things that are most of us wouldn't consider eating normally. So, I mean, odd speculated that my character would now realize that she isn't human, so, I mean, I suppose she isn't. I mean, we might need to ask Sard or Red Nord what she is. I think my... Uh... So if anyone else wants to carry on, I'm just looking at a spell for a second. I mean, so are you going to check her? Yeah, if you if you share your worries, of course, Solas yeah, is yeah, going to uh, do check on her if, if he is able to identify what might be wrong. All right, go ahead and give me a healing proficiency check. With or without the bag? Uh, this is more diagnostic, so without. You're not trying to heal her, you're trying to figure out what's going on. Well, wow. I think that's a success. Um, so yeah, she's definitely starving. Um, you can't say any more than that. You don't know exactly why, I mean, you have been, uh, bringing them food. She must be a vampire! I mean, Sorry, that is a distinct mm. possibility! And we checked her for fangs. Well... You know that vampires can hide their fangs. Can they? <laughs> the revelation dog. <laughs> I mean, I vampires can appear know. like normal humans. I'm not sure that any of you would know one way or the other. Yeah. Like, so so, so. You, can, you can certainly speculate as much as you want. And whether any of that is true, who knows? There's like there's, there's tons no and way. tons and tons of stories that you would have heard. There's mm -hmm. no way I... Braxton has looked inside the mouth of a vampire to check whether they've retracted their teeth. <laughs> hmm. I've I never might... heard of this. I will memorize telepathy because that is something I will use on her. I will try to communicate, say that obviously it might be easier for you to. 
when this when this situation comes up, I will obviously explain to Sophia that I'm going to cast a spell that allows us to talk mind to mind, so it's easier if you're struggling to talk. Yeah. Obviously, it'll be later in the day, but that's the spell that I'm memorizing. So you, you'd be doing that on your shift? Yeah. Okay. All right. Because obviously, it's a new day, and then I'd be changing my spells up. So Yeah, so probably... Yeah, all right, so, so real fast... Um... I think that you probably would have done that, you know, the the discussion with Solus, so that he, on his shift, he could go check on her. Because um, mm -hmm. he has first shift, you have second shift, so, like, near the end of second shift of the previous day, you'd go tell um, Solus that. Alright, yeah, so when I wake up, yeah. And then when you wake up, you'd, you could do that. Um, yeah, Solas, uh, Solas would uh, share the... Uh, uh, finding that she is uh, definitely starving uh, with uh, Finn and uh, Laftel and other officers. All right. Uh, are you? Do you Can want to do this at me? the end of uh, first shift? Yeah, basically when we meet during the shift change. Okay. Is there anything anyone else wants to do during first shift, then? Uh, that's Norf and Ocker and Solus on, on duty. Uh, I will uh, try to make sure that she eats. Try, like, a variety of food. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try... It, it, am I told of what's going on here? Yeah, everyone's been told. Yeah. Well, then it, I'd probably well, hold, try hold, hold to... On, hold on, real fast. Um, I wanted to know if there was anything else anyone would have wanted yeah. to do during first shift. So if this is during first shift as opposed to uh, at the meeting, that's fine. First, yeah, shift I is, first shift isn't breakfast shift, is it? Correct. Right, so he'd be sleeping. Yeah, Sol Solas would send a message to other officers on the shift that, uh, of this uh, discovery and uh, say that he will talk more about it uh, during the... Uh, Shift change. Okay, yeah. Because your ship hasn't moved yet, so I'd want to get it moved to uh, where you'd want it to go oh. for. Right. Okay. So basically, basically, Solas will try and for some time to make sure that she eats and uh, uh, try to have a easy to digest and uh, easy to feed foods there. We were... were we heading east again? Yes. Uh, uh, no, no, west. Lighters. You're going west. Sorry. West. Right. East, right. east is yeah. where so we So someone, someone can just uh, grab, you know, yeah, the, arrow do the arrow and do probably. 12 hours. How? Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. All right, so you do see that the... Uh, um, corridor that you're flying down uh, will be uh, curving around as you're going. Um, you can see that there is some light up ahead. Uh, perhaps there's another uh, like small sun, small fire body somewhere uh, up ahead. Alright, so during the uh, shift changeover, uh, you guys meet and you can discuss uh, this issue. Uh, did she eat anything uh, during uh, the time I tried to help her eat? No. And she right. refused to even look at you. She refused any any kind of, you know, attempt at assistance or anything like that. Okay. Right, so well, so, I'll yeah. share this uh, during the meeting. Yeah. I think we should probably... Uh... And any order the other guy to figure out what's going on with her? If I could... Good berries would sustain her for a while, if I had any, but there's still, like, another week before and next batch start growing. Right. Can you, uh... Finn, could you accelerate the berries? That's the fault. I'd have to look into that. Okay. Um... So... Do you think she's something else, like maybe a plant, and she needs sunlight, well, or some I other sort of creature? 
I don't know a plant pl- being a plant, but uh, it's possibility that she's uh, some kind of shapeshifter. Um, could the transition from Crin space to here broken some sort of bond she has? Like maybe she's. No, she's the sustenance from the elemental planes or something. I she refuses just... to eat. Yeah, I think she's had enough of us, so she doesn't. She's lost her will to live. Right. Is this because of um, the food she was given? Yeah. Okay. Braxton says, "All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go share a meal with her. See if that helps." Uh, she did uh, not. Uh, she did refuse basically any. Meals I offered, or any, yeah. uh, and resisted any assistance to eating. But if she's got the idea that we're poisoning her, then maybe if someone eats some of the food, she'll trust that we're not poisoning ourselves. Solas would have done that during the. He would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably would. I mean, even probably has good reason to think we'd be poisoning her. After See, her I mean, Sol- Solas well, would knows. have. Uh, Solas would have basically tried to show. Come on, this is okay. Okay to eat. Yeah. And then she thinks it's full of uh, iocane pi- powder. <laughs> I know that from somewhere. Princess Bride. I've heard. I. Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she would she would have refused and um, been unresponsive to uh, any attempt to get her to feed, to eat. Uh, so I would have uh, questioned the guards about uh, have they noticed this uh, that she hasn't been eating for how long? Uh, the guards would inform you that they, <laughs> as far as they can tell, um, she only sleeps. And you know, does not speak. Uh, occasionally, like you know, Njord and uh, Sard will curse them out, but she doesn't even do that. She's very unresponsive. Would some phone be in this means? Would we have the helmsman? Yeah, you could certainly call him in. Yeah, because mm. I would. Um, Other I than would, the uh... person who's actively on the helm. I think it might be. a I think we should probably do some no. interrogation here. I would. Can we ask the others? In the... Yeah. Well, 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 hold on. Well, what, what, what do you ask? Sorry. Laptop. I I want to say that obviously we had concerns of um, obviously she not being who she says she is, obviously. And I would pose the question to everyone Does anyone have any means of detecting shapeshifters? Basically, what I'm hinting at, does Sam Fayoun know the tech shapeshifter spell? Because it's a common spell. Fourth level divination. Would it would it help if I went and looked at her and tried to speak different languages? How about we focus on a, an existing question first? Um, so Sun Fayoun would uh, respond... Um, uh, I am aware of that spell, but it is not one that I typically take. Uh, let's see. What What is that divination? Uh, yeah, it's got spell components, so which might be a bit of an issue. Um, what, what are the components? Balm of honey and lotus flower. It's smeared on the eyelids of the caster. Yeah, he would but tell you that he doesn't, have not... any, he doesn't have any lotus flowers. Honey is not the problem. I don't know what balm of honey is meant to implicate when it, you say balm of something. It, it's it's uh, an ointment. Oh. Yeah, an ointment made out of honey. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Realize now. Notice. Wasn't that in a... No, I'm thinking of Chrono. Really. It's basically ointment of honey and lotus flowers that you smear, out, smear on your you eyelids. Got, you got spell components for lotus flower. I, I do swear I remember you needing that. Unless no. I'm thinking of the kernel, Lily. Oh. No, not Lotus Flower. Hmm. Very much is an Oriental spell. It's not the not common flower. Now, 
Does any, anyone have any uh, scrolls or anything that they think might help? Mm, I need to check. Are there any of my um, scrolls at work? I do have protection from shape, ch shape changers, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not the sa same thing as detecting them. Um... No, not really. The only scrolls I have is... I, I meant... Believe, <laughs> I did mean spell scrolls. <laughs> protection from paralysis and protection from illusions. I have true seeing. Question? Yep. Would... Uh, does ESP... Do, do you notice the difference between the different uh, creatures with ESP? No. There was okay. something that was saying about thoughts being hidden in their own language. If you could identify the language, then you would know what creature shit is. Uh, True scene might might do something if she's uh, she using the illusion. But then again, that is also a powerful spell. Question: mm -hmm. She was dispelled. Would protection she? from illusions so... work? Would that would that would that protect me from being affected by illusions, or would that mean that it if would, an illusion tries to attack me, that won't work? Uh, it wouldn't. It it only protects you from certain types of illusions. Like it doesn't protect you from things like invisibility, a mirror image, that sort of thing. It protects you from uh, a programmed illusion of a water elemental attacking you. Uh, I believe it would allow you to see through like an illusionary wall. You know, like, if there was an illusion of a wall and no one touched it, um, no one would realize it, that they could just walk right through it, but with that, I believe that would allow you to walk right through it. But it does not protect you against things like invisibility. Okay, so that wouldn't help here. Uh, Probably not. Just a simple, a simple dispel magic. She was dispelled, that's the thing. Because oh, simply yeah. you dispelled your spell, yeah. so any other spell or shape change based on magic would have been the spell. I mean, if it were a spell, then it would have run out by now, unless she, it needed no components and didn't need to be rememorized from her spellbook. Would it be possible that she'd be something similar to that? Uh, do we know now, but by now, what this uh, draconade or whatever it was is was? You mean draconian? Yes. I mean, it's possible. That might yeah, allow you to see through it. I mean, it's a shot, but it's not a guarantee. We could simply ask Sard and Brednold if, if she's even human. Just a simple question to see if they even That's answer. what I was going to say. That's what I've been saying. That's... Well, you're probably the best person to ask. At least Brednold. I mean, he doesn't like you, but he might just say. Yeah. Try with Red Newells first. Um, play, uh, play on the fact that he's a captain and he's responsible uh, for it. Yeah. Heard of, uh, if, if nothing else. read up when yeah. he's asking this if I'd be nearby. Just to see if. He doesn't say, but he at least thinks about it. If nothing else, the fact that she might die means that um, he'd have less potential allies to help him in an escape attempt. So hopefully he'll see that it's in his interest to help her. Uh, Alright, so Ocker and Laftal, you go uh, to ask him. Laftal, you'd have mind read up. Well, be mm -hmm. Before they go... Um, the, the thing I was asking you thought was a different question. It was sort of on that. Would, would okay. I be able to tell anything with that ring? Can I, try, uh, if I try to do a language? No, it can... doesn't. It doesn't let you like scan through someone's knowledge and that kind of thing. Like it's not going to allow well, you to. Uh, like scan through their their knowledge to figure out what languages they know. Right, okay. Like, okay. If, if someone is not speaking a language and you are not aware of a language uh, and it is not being spoken around you, you cannot say, does so-and-so know this language? No, it doesn't work that way. 
Right, got you. Okay, thanks. Carry on. Yep. Well, Leo might have a scroll that. I'm still looking at the, the spell. I'm still looking up the spell. It's true name. Uh, it's good for demons and. Could, yeah, could I think that's. Could you tell us the truth? It, it, I mean, it might give you. I'd have to look up the, what what the spell does, but uh, like that might give you the true name, but that doesn't necessarily indicate what a creature is. No, but uh, we can. Uh, well, Lever we could match some some suggestions with the with the actual uh, spell, like. Uh, <laughs> Multiple suggestions. The verses can contain from one to four suggestions. And it... You know what's funny? If she is a demon and you find out her true name, we can just abjure her. Shit. <laughs> it's, it's all sorts of weird things with that spell. I mean, I think that would be a longer shot than something like True Scene. Okay. Oh, part of it is domination. The subject is allowed to single. Well, there's also that. Actually, if you charm her, you could, because she's she's now she believes that you're her. Well, actually, no, it needs to be a fresh encounter. Yeah. Exactly. Do you actually have a domination scroll? Yes. Because that would work. That's you could part dominate of the true her name. and make one, her eat. One, one of the true, true name possibilities is the domination, for one day. Yeah, but he means, do you have domination itself? No. Which is a fifth level spell. Have to find someone first who can. Yeah, well, okay. Might have it on the scroll, would you? It's not a rare that, spell. That way, it's not listening to laughter at all. all right. <laughs> just, just in this particular. No, situation. I mean, this is this is this is more uh, player talk, not like okay. I, I don't think laughter would be suggesting wizard spells because he's not a wizard. Yeah, okay. uh, it's more of a case of uh, do you know that you have a scroll of this? Leva doesn't have a scroll of domination, but she can yeah. cast true name with the uh, domination on it. Yeah, but true name is more uh, for uh, entities like demons and dime devils. If we come across a demon dab and you cast that, then I abjure it so we don't buy to a demon devil. <laughs> Seeing as those are creatures that uh, actually have uh, uh, their names have power over them, which is why they don't share their real names usually. It doesn't say anything here, but uh, that yeah. it needs to be a demon or anything. Everything, so, everything, anyway. everything has a true name. Yes, that's what it says here. All right, so ultimately the question is, does anyone have a scroll or a spell that they would want to use? Mm, don't seem to have. I've, I've got a potion for, um, for um, what does it do? Oh, antidote potion. If, if you exhaust that poison. Okay. At least we don't suspect. He's poisoned. I mean, it's yeah. probably just the ramifications of Finn's spell, and basically, she's now going along with the starvation. Uh, I should also note that true name. You need to know the uh, the name. It doesn't give you the name. Okay. Oh, it's a spell that does. Effect it's a spell that allows that. you to use a true name that you know. Uh, Okay. So yeah, you would need to research spells. You'd have to research, uh, use other magics, other divinations to learn a true name. If they go downstairs to talk to her, would it help if Leva came with ESP? Laftel has uh, something that does basically the same thing. Okay. I'm just doing. All right, so Laftel and Solus, I mean Laftel and Ocker, you go uh, to ask Njord. 
Okay. Uh, Ocker, how are you going to uh, ask Njord? Ocker? Test, test. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I'm going to join. My name is basically going to tell All right. him that his... You're getting really robotic. I don't know why. Might have just been a brief uh, connectivity issue. Yeah. I'd basically go in and tell him that his uh, companion and crewmate, Solithia, is starving because he just won't... Uh, and we don't know why. And uh, if he truly, and if he is truly a good captain and cares about his crew, would he tell us how we can uh, help her? He would. Uh, he would look at you and say, um, "I have no ship." You took that from me. I'm hardly a captain anymore. He's still your companion. This seems to be something that is your responsibility now. So you don't care if she ends up dying? I mean, if you c truly cared for her, then you could release us all, and I'm sure we'd be able to find some uh, aid for her. Does he think about her? Does he get a saving throw? Uh, the saving throw is only if he's aware if he's being interrogated. I mean, he's being questioned. Yeah. If memory, if mind readers use this part of an interrogation, an intelligent and wary subject receives a saving throw at minus two penalty. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're like. He's a prisoner. You're asking him questions. He th he would consider yeah, this an interrogation. A... The, like when when that wouldn't apply is when you 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 cast it in before going into a tavern. You find a guy. Hey, let me buy you a drink. Hey, have you heard any rumors lately? Have you heard anything about this? You know, blah blah blah. You know, that person would but, not consider. Yeah, I guess it he would get a saving throw. Yeah. Uh, however, um, he did fail his saving throw. So, um, oh, twenty percent chance of learning his character class. All right. I want to know if he's the multi-class fighter thief or if he's just a thief. Did not work. Uh -huh. Um. So what you do pick up is, uh, he's definitely hiding. Um. Yeah. You know, so he's responding confidently to to you to Ocker. Uh, however, he does not feel that confidence himself. He's like, you know, why would she? I never, you know. It's it's odd. I never um, knew she'd have it. Had an, would have any problems. Is kind of surprising. So he doesn't he doesn't know why she would be starving. Hmm. Does he think about her, who she is, or any kind of like origin or anything like that? She is she like she's just a human. Why is she not? He's not thinking. Well, she is this, so maybe they need to track this. Um, in that, like, he's not. He's certainly not like going over in his head all of their history and stuff like that. Uh, you do not pick up any impression from him that she that he's thinks of her as anything other than a human. Hmm. Maybe a polymorph human, permanently polymorph. Who knows? If I is Red Newell aware of me being there, I suppose he would be. I mean, uh, just be leaning against a wall, just. Yeah. Do you need there. line of sight or anything for that? Don't believe so. I just need to be in range. Okay. And obviously, you'd have to be, you'd have to be aware of the creature, but uh, yeah, I think yeah, you I... could probably be like around the corner, right outside, or something like that. 
Yeah, I don't know why it's say um I'd scribble something on the piece of paper, I guess, and losing all my nice paper here. Uh, well, I say paper, bits of papyrus or something. Yeah, I mean, you can have scraps um, of paper. I don't. I will say that is. Um, I will write on there. He's not as confident as he states. I will just pass that to Arca. Okay. Sorry. Basically, what I would be trying to convey is he's pissing on the front. I think you're smart enough to realize that. Yeah, I I realize that. I'm just struggling to figure out how to use that. Ask him other questions while you're here. I mean, it's definitely something that you, you know, like in conversations with uh, um, Higamus and Braxen, you would have kind of picked up that um, there are times when you're, as a leader, as a captain, um, you may be like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't actually know what I need to do, but I just need to make everyone think that I do. Yeah. I guess, uh, I guess I'd ask, do you know anything about Salithia? Do you know if she's actually human or not? Is she a shapeshifter? That could give us an idea. You could indicate, and I would have told you this, uh, uh... Part well, the uh, company suspects that she seems a bit odd for a human. I guess she but does. We she has seen. We've seen that she seems a bit odd than uh, what you would expect from a human. No, she's not quite human, or something. She doesn't seem quite human. Um, he would respond. He would. Uh, uh... Does that raise an eyebrows of him? No, no. He would. Is he it... would. He would laugh at at you. You you saying this and say, um, uh, she's plenty human. How confident in that are you? Oh, quite confident. Does he think anything else, Ernestively? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've slept together. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So he does care about her. Um. Well, at least to an extent. You know. It'd be a shame if she disappeared, so to speak. I mean... Probably do, uh, do about the, as far. Like, as... <laughs> how deep is her relationship? I That's, don't know. That would be the, the question. But you would—I mean—you would learn from memory read that that they've slept together. Okay. Uh... What? Mm. I just thought something about. I can't say this now. I have to tell you later. Don't worry. It's not nothing that would make change your questioning. All right. Hmm. I'm trying to think about. I, I'm struggling to think of anything else I could actually say. You just ask him about why he has a spirit rose and stuff like that. I don't know. Just, just, just seeing if he's had a reflection or change of heart, or you know. I guess I, I guess I asked about like the spirit rose and stuff to see if anything changes and if Lattel picks up anything. Nah, his uh, his responses aren't going to be any different than... I mean, this this is the kind of thing that you would have asked him before. Um, and does Lattel pick up anything? Nothing new. Okay. Lattel, if you got any questions about Celestia or anything, go ahead. No, you just indicated that I'm there now, have you? Um... I mean, you passed him a note. Yeah, he would have seen subtle. you. You were out of the room. Yeah. You were... I could have just like tap. All right, all right, it's fine. It's fine it's, it's not like those cells have a have a, a solid walls. They are just bars, basically. Yeah, yeah you should but... use you should have used your telepathy spell. <laughs> oh right, oh right. I just think of something. Uh, I'd ask him what Celestia typically eats. 
Uh, he would say, um, whatever she wants. And Laftel, you'd, an... you'd pick up, um, a, a, a kind of a, now that they mention it, I never actually saw her eat. Oh. 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 That's, uh... Hmm. Okay, that answers... Does he have a Ed concerned Rain. look on his face? No? No, no, he's... he's outwardly, oh, he's... Poker yeah, outwardly, poker he's, he's, he's completely confident in his responses. That answers and brings up several questions. Okay, and I guess I'll get the floor to Lattel if he has any extra questions. Um... I don't really have any jewels that I would want to pose. Like. <sighs> Aside from obviously you being returned to the Elven Navy. Is there anything on the table that you're willing to offer us that would make us otherwise? <sighs> I don't know. Because obviously we need to return you to the we and we're following Oko's promise, but it's like... <sighs> I don't know. I, I can't think of anything. I guess yeah, if, you, if you can't think of anything, thought. if you can't think of anything, that's fine. You, you can say you don't have any questions. It's fine. Yeah, there's, there's things I want to ask in thieves' camp. But I don't want to be weird in front of Buck, I so. Oh. Um, you can. Well, I would thought you can be weird in front of Buck because oh, no. everyone yeah, knows you're weird. Everyone already knows you're weird. Laughter would say indicate you do know thieves' camp because I've seen your reaction, and I would say that in thieves' camp. So I might sound a bit weird to Arca. I've seen that reaction before. Uh, he does not react, like, he does not show that reaction this time, and he, uh, 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 and just responds with, like, uh, I have no idea what you just asked. Yeah, you can play that game, but you're no better than any other that's out there. We know what to look for in your kind. Do you have anything else to ask me, or are you going to leave me alone? Yes, we'll leave you alone and see if we can, uh... You and can see what we can Sarg. figure out. Let's go ask Sarg. I mean, my memory really doesn't restrict it to one person, but I don't know how much longer it's going to last. Yeah, let's go talk to Sarg then. It's rounds at level, so it would only have lasted eight rounds, so... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so you go, uh... Uh, turn to Sarg. We ask and him. Uh, we'll generally um, ask him the same kind of questions about Celestia. And ask her specifically, do you know what she eats? Because yeah, he just told you whatever she wants. But have you ever actually seen her eat? Well, I would want to see a human eat. Wouldn't well, you be you suspicious if she wasn't eating for a long period of time? You'd notice this after a while. <laughs> you have any idea how easy it is to eat in private on a ship? Yeah, but how long have you been together? And you say you've never seen her eat? Yeah. I didn't say that. Uh, is, he, is he thinking anything otherwise? <laughs> if my... Um... There's an there there's an element of uh, 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 won't they just leave me alone or get it over with that kind of thing. Um, there's also uh, <laughs> just um, an element of I don't know what they want, but how can I make this difficult for them? 
Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't understand why you're asking. Well, we would have. Kind of thing. We would have made it. We we would have said that we're trying to keep Lithia from starving. Yes, it seems that the feed's no longer sustaining her. Yeah. And maybe she just doesn't so... like what you're feeding her. I mean, that's always our possibility. You could always let I us mean... go. I'm sure we could find her something that she'd like to eat. Nice try. You didn't think that would work, did you? <laughs> no. Would you have been surprised if it did? Yeah, it didn't. Hey, I mean, if it did work, then uh, I'd be free now, wouldn't I? Mm. Although you wouldn't like where we are. I I'm sure I can find a... I'm sure I could find my way. I mean... Everyone and... respects merchants. Yeah, but I don't know about... How Dwarves need to be rather goblin... hated around here. This... Yeah. This sphere seems to be mainly filled with goblinoids. They seem to hate elves as well. So, you're about as... <laughs> uh, good that's no surprise. Well, you know... Your people are quite easy to hate. Well, not everyone hates me. That's ah, I mean, they may not. They may not tell it to your face. I don't really have any questions for this guy. And he can be annoying sometimes, but I have no reason to hate hey. him. Yeah, see. <laughs> Don't confirm what he says. That so, Laftal, before so much. before your spell ends, you definitely uh, um, pick up from him that that uh, he sees an opportunity to try to egg you on. Yeah, he does much. <laughs> I'm pretty easy to egg on. I think the only person Just... we hit, can question now is Alithia herself and try to get anything. Yeah, my memory, my memory is probably going to end. It did end. I mean, that was that yeah. was the end. Can you prepare more than one of those? No. Why not? Because I'm taking combat spells. Mm. And healing, you know. Things that keep us alive. Do we have any idea how long she's going to last? Do you think she can last until your good berries are ready? Uh, she's not that close. She's not comatose. She's actually still conscious, so she's not that close to dying. But obviously, um, I'd have to speak to Finn. He has greater control over plants than I do. Maybe he can do something for my good berries. Alright, do you want to go talk and to then, Finn? Yeah, and no, I just mentioned that. Then obviously, say that. Knock, knock. Finn, hello? Oh, wait, he might be going to bed. Uh, I mean, oh. it, it 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 is off shift for him, um, but he might be up for an hour before he goes to bed. Or yeah, yeah. I mean, Ocker's still up, and and this is you know, this is essentially past his, the end of his shift at this point. Yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Then I'll say, I'll say, all right, Finn, uh, Finn, Finn, Finn. Um, yeah, that's his name, right? <laughs> for some reason, I was so confused. I kept thinking of Solus for some reason. Uh... You, obviously, being a druid, you have, like, uh, vastly superior control over plants than, than I do. I have more gimmicky, fun stuff I can do with them. Um, could you... Well, there was the thought of casting some good berries, but my berries are still, like, a week out before they're ready. Um, could you accelerate that? Do you have the ability to accelerate that? There may be a way. I'll have to think on it when I do my morning meditations. Would me being a tree make it easier for you? <laughs> I can do it for a couple of hours. So could I if I wanted to. Ah. Oh, you spell. can be trees together. Tree twins. <laughs> Sorry. Tree brothers. 
Uh, we'll have to play a prank on the uh, party as trees or something at some point. Maybe we get lost and we just appear as trees. Sounds like something fun. I All that. doubt any of them would notice anything different from one tree to the next, but we could try that. I tried it with the druid on our asteroid, but he seemed to see right through me. But then again, I was the only tree on a barren asteroid planet thing. Yeah. Also, you were a tree that was not there uh, a few hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, bit of good day. Obviously, just carry on with my shift, I guess. Okay. Uh, would you be uh, heading back to your uh, quarters? Like, is that what you'd be doing for your, you know, would you be spending time in your uh yeah, Orders. I'd be doing more scroll things if, unless I've missed significant portions of my day. Okay. No, no, you haven't. All right, and I'll indicate to the party that I'm trying to get this scroll done. Unless the combat is really dangerous, I will. Well, is there been indication that I could skip combat if I'm doing scroll res doing the scroll? I mean, you could skip combat, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, can I participate, or would it literally cancel the scroll? It would depend on how long you're in combat. Because I know my scribe spell, the moment I stop scribing, it stops. Well, then that so would end, leaves. but that wouldn't necessarily end the uh, the thing. Yeah, oh, the, I'd, I'd the, indicate... I, I mean, because like, when you're doing a multi-day uh, scroll, you can still sleep, you can still eat, um, you can still do a little bit of socializing. Uh, you just can't say... All right, I've put a day in on this uh, uh, scroll. Uh, I'm going to go delve into that dungeon for a week, and then when I get back, I'll put in the second day. That's the big thing that you can't do. Um, it's a little bit of combat. Not. The The bigger problem with combat is that it might take you out of the mental state that you need to be in to create the scroll. So that's why yeah, it depends it also... on how long the combat is. I would indicate, unless it's a dangerous combat, I would forego it. I mean, yeah. Okay, so you're just... returning to your quarters to work on your scroll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you open the door to your quarters and step inside, there is a crash. As you see a uh, uh, large wooden duck fly off of your bunk and uh, slam into the wall farthest from you. Oh, Lever's left me a gift. She got like repulsion on it this time. Seems to not like me anymore. I don't know. I mean, oh, how are you reacting to this this duck literally crashing across your room? He's kind of like shrugging off at this point. <laughs> it's not that impressed. Okay. So you're standing in the doorway, and what do you do? Well, the duck's in my way. No, it's it's moved away from you. Yeah, I it was on your bunk, duck... and when you entered, it flew across the room away from you. That's fine. The duck can stay on the other end of the room. I mean, it's it's what I've encountered previously. So it's 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 no. Interesting spectacle animal to him. That's his mind state. Okay. So you're just going to ignore it and move about your room? Pretty much, unless it does anything interesting. Well, it certainly does in that it constantly crashes around the room as you move around your room to stay far away from you. Yeah. <sighs> Can I try pulling it towards me to set my ring, is, or is it too big? My uh, tele telekinetic ring. Uh, it towards me. The so you can try. Um, you grasp it it's to a try stationary to stationary target. Yeah. Well, I mean it. It was. Oh, I, I know. I. I... All right, because it's because uh, it's moving in polar opposite directions, and I try to go under it so it goes to the top of the room. Then I obviously take the place of where it was, so it goes out of my room. 
so I'm like the opposite to the door. Wow, we just got five gift subs from uh, Cannibal. Thank you very much. That is greatly appreciated. Um, so the thing is, is that like it, it doesn't just like it, it's not like on a on a fixed pole. It's that when you move towards it, it just goes flying away from you, which uh -huh. is is, is it's just... erratic and it's um, odd and it it's at kind of a like. Uh, more n rather than like a fixed metal pole distance kind of thing, it's more like a rubber band type thing. Hmm. Would I know shape wood would work on this? Do you have to touch? No. You don't have to touch with shape wood. No. No. I just got blow dust over it. Well, that might be difficult. Ah, uh, why? Because you can't get close to it. <sighs> when you get close to it, 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 you know, bounces away from you. Hmm. Do you have anything fragile sitting out in your room? Because it's a big duck. Crashing big... around your room. Hang on, you, how big is this duck? you you never indicated that it was a huge duck. Well, at least I didn't realize. Uh, it's it was a huge it's. Duck. I mean, it's smaller than you, but it's not like fist size. It's it's a. Uh, my shape would should work. It's a couple. Because a couple it's too feet. big. You know, it, it, the total volume is like three cubic feet. It's, it's big, just not as big as you. It's a big I duck. My potions and stuff are in the safe, so okay. I'm not anywhere about I mean, I might have my short sword, Elven short sword plus one around in the Raymond Leather Armor on the stand. Okay, then it's probably knocking these things over rather than, like, breaking things. But it's definitely knocking things over and making a cloud. Yeah. Occasionally, yeah, like, like a after a few moments, you'll, you'll, uh, a, uh, um, a crew member will, like, show up in the door and go, what, what's going on? There's a lot of noise. Yeah, someone's played a prank on me. There's a giant duck in my room, and it's wrecking my room. So, can you, like, destroy it? I don't see a duck. What are you talking about? You don't see... All right. Oh, the one day I don't have to spell magic memorized. <laughs> You should always have a dispel of magic if possible. Oh, I got like shape world. Well, it's because I got memory read that I'm taking every day as well. So, are they making a lot of noise? Yeah. Yeah, you might. Uh, a crew member might have informed you, uh, Braxton, that there's some noise coming from uh, the crew quarters. But I know if my wand of negation would work on it. Uh, wand of negation works on uh, magic items. Yeah. Not just magic. Braxton's Braxton's going to grab the man catcher and head to um, Laftel's quarters. Time to catch yeah. Laftel. And say, what's going on in there? All right. Um, so so uh, Big Mac, you arrive in the room, and um, uh, stuff is getting knocked over when when Laftel moves around. Like not from him; it's it's away from him. Uh, but you don't yeah. see anything going on, other than that. Okay. So, Braxton sort of points the man catcher in the direction of the things that get knocked over and says, "Are they invisible?" I can see it's clear as daylight. It's only affecting me, but it seems see to be what? tangible, whatever it is, because obviously it's knocking things over. I see it's a Bra giant duck. A giant last... duck. Yeah. Well, last time I was plagued by a duck, it was leather. Braxton is going to no, concentrate and try and see someone dress as a duck. <laughs> yeah, but he's looking he's looking for like a, a man sized duck. Alright, so so you close your eyes and concentrate for a moment and look again. Um there is not a, a man or a person dressed as a duck, but there is a giant wooden duck. Uh that as Laffel moves around his room, it, it's bouncing around, knocking things over and stuff like that. Can Braxton use the man catcher to kind of pin it down? 
Uh, you can try, but as you get close, it bounces away from you as well. Right. Oh, it bounces away when Bre Braxton gets close to it. Mm -hmm. Braxton's going to say to Leftal, back off and stay still. It, it seems to be bouncing away from you. It's, is it bouncing away from... Is it trying to split between both of us? It's bouncing away from both of you. So if you take one corner of the room, I take the other corner of the room, it should go out the door. Uh, Braxton tells the um, the crewman in the door to, to get out of the way and to uh, get a path clear to the exit. We'll see if we can get this thing over the side of the ship. Okay. Uh, give me dexterity checks from both of you. Do I need tumbling <laughs> instead? Because that's a more relevant proficiency. No, because you're not tumbling. You're just trying to uh, mm. position yourselves just right. Err. You're fine. <laughs> After the other hand gets in the head. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's going out of my room. As I walk towards it, and I just get headbutted or something. So. My God, how? So, uh. This is laughter. Laughter. I mean, you're you're used to you, you, like you set your room up just right, and this thing has yeah, been been bouncing around, and it's knocked something over, and like something round or something like that, and you don't realize that it's there, and oh, just shoes. like whoop, you just you just slip on it and land on your butt, which causes the <laughs> uh, um uh the duck to uh, rocket up into. Uh, the ceiling and uh, continue to bounce around, but it's in the opposite corner from the door. Wow. Well, there can only be two, four corners in the room. Uh, I don't think I put my ring of regeneration on, so that's probably going to hurt for a while. <laughs> Braxton's, Braxton's going to um, probably not pay much attention to, to left all being on the floor, <laughs> thinking he's just trying to get out of the way of it. He's going to go to one of the corners away from the door. He's going to say, Left or go to the other corner. Left or scrambles, I guess, to the other side of the floor. Well, all right. So, would all of this commotion have woken Finn up at this point? I mean, I went straight to my room after you. So Probably yeah, anyway. since your room is right across from Laftel's. I, I was going to say. Or, well, no, actually, I mean, you probably wouldn't have gone to sleep yet because. Uh... Uh, Laffle would have come to you, like, this is right after he, he was in your room, so, um, you're hearing all this stuff. Oh, I've got an idea. I, got I, use, shape yet? I use shape wood to make uh, an imprisonment around it. Okay. So uh, Finn, at this point, would be looking to see what all the commotion's about. Okay. So, so he's happily sleeping away. So Laftel, you uh, you shift the uh, um, uh, you, you shape the uh, the floorboards up and around this thing. Um, so cage it. Yeah, you uh, try to give me a dexterity check, please. Well, she wants me rolling another twenty, eh? Praxin yells out, "Hey, that's my floorboards!" Yeah, it's my cabin. Yeah, but I'm going to have to make new floorboards if you destroy them. Well, no, I just shaped the wood back. Okay. I mean, it's contained now. Yeah, it's contained, but it's rattling around very loudly. All right, I start stabbing at the duck. It's <laughs> <laughs> a died foul duck. You can uh... for long enough. Can Braxton lock the man catcher onto the duck? Will well, it's it in cage. rip onto it? Well, it's it's in it's in a a cage or a box type enclosure. Right. So, yeah. so no, you would not be able to get the man catcher in there. It's, um, it's now contained, however, so. um, as you try to stab it, uh, you've you've looked away and and now you can't see it anymore. Who left him? Mm. Left him. Left him. <sighs> Like well, Laptop, you're like, pass. I I knew it was in there. Why why isn't it in there anymore? Oh, Laptop sighs, closes his eyes for a minute. <laughs> Can Braxton still see it? Yeah, you haven't looked away. Um. Right. Let's see. 
are there holes in this cage? Yeah. It's just bars to enwrap it. I'm just trying to think which of Braxton's weapons that he'd have on him would He's be able to. Poke it. Yeah. Yeah, he'll go for the spear and poke at the thing. Okay. Now, what's your goal with poking it? Um, Maybe knock a bit off and see if that stops it being alive, so to speak. You need damage and off it'll stop working. Well, well, Braxton's figuring either if he knocks a bit off, that bit will go flying away because it's still got the same magic. Or if he splits it in half, it's going to destroy magic it. Will, magic. The magic will stay to the biggest chunk of it, probably. Right, yeah. Well, there's also the fact that if Braxton can, if Braxton can actually um, stick it on the end of his spear, we might be able to take it off the edge of the ship and uh, he might be able to press another button on his... You don't uh, have prongs on buttons. the thing, so it would just come off. You got like a harpy. Oh, you think it would just fly off the end? Yeah, okay. well, he'll find out, won't he? Just keep poking it until you destroy enough of it. He's he's well, he's poking it once. So so Finn, you're also looking in at this. Um, are you doing anything else? Asking him what the hell's going on in here. <laughs> uh, Bra Braxton's going to say there's some sort of duck. It was invisible. No, levels use their magic on it. You know how you make things disappear and appear for other people at random? It's definitely her that's done this. Well, that makes me wonder what you've done to uh, irritate her enough to do this to you. Ah, yeah, she just likes having fun, just like anyone else. Margoth has uh, joined you at the uh, the door. Uh, Who's Margoth? Margoth the goblin. Oh. Goblin lady. That's probably why Lath doesn't remember it. <laughs> and um, Braxton, Braxton says it. In... She's she's definitely laughing at 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 the antics. Braxton says to him, "Goblin, um, they seem to have some duck related ritual." Humans and elves are very strange. She looks up at you, Finn, and <laughs> is like. Uh, and says, uh, um, what is this ritual for? It looks quite amusing. I've never seen its like. Is it religious? I don't really know. <laughs> I just enjoy the show. <laughs> so she looks back and says, do you worship this duck? Is this some sort of ritual killing? Commemorate some great hunt of a duck? What is a duck anyway? But, uh, oh, do you not have birds here? No, they uh, don't. Uh, Braxton. I think could make himself a duck. Yeah. Braxton says there are creatures with big flappy arms that make them go up in the air. <laughs> like I mean, they do have this. creatures with wings. Yeah, but she <laughs> won't know what some explanation. She won't know what a wing is if she's not seen a bird. Uh, there's a there's... giant uh, bats and uh, winged fish and insects. Yeah, yeah. She she looks at you, uh, Braxton, and says, "I know what a bird is. I don't know what a duck is." Oh, a duck is a bird, but it's a bird that can also sit on water. Floats. Yeah, it floats on the surface of water. Then why do you have it caged in wood? Uh, because it was flying around the room and hitting things. The but it's, other... it's wood, it's not real. Well, it was moving. It was banging about the room. It seems to be... Uh, it, it seems to be... Uh, uh, plagued with some sort of magical effect. The other elf in our company has uh, enchanted it to vex me. And it seems to be winning so far. <laughs> I I don't know, to be honest. I mean, a while ago I came and Finn had a duck stuck to his hand. And then I pulled it out of his hand and it was stuck to my hand and I couldn't get rid of it. Why did you name yourself up. Company of the Broken Sword when ducks are clearly your mascot? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, old then he was our previous elven member, kept breaking his swords. Yeah. Otherwise, we might have been the company of the Broken Duck. Well, maybe not Duck. The company of the Throwaway Hammer. Company of the Wooden Duck. So, uh, Laughter, I mean, you can keep trying to look away and, and look at it until you see it again. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And, and then is your goal to try and destroy it? Yep. Okay. And Braxton, are you helping? Yeah, Braxton, help. Okay. Uh, you will eventually uh, uh, smash it down to uh, just like debris, and that yeah. that will seem to uh, break uh, whatever magic is is on it. Uh, After the size, it's like uh, gonna take more shape with spells to repair the room. How many hours it take took for them to? Yeah, basically, I lost my scroll research attempt. It didn't take hours to handle this. We've got it's um, like fifteen minutes at the most. We we've got a basket of devouring, haven't we? A what? Have we got a basket of devouring? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Solus right. has got that. Okay. Um, I can use the word to reform my damage sections of the room. I'll clear it up. I'll just put it in a pile and repair my room with it. I just need a section of wood. We just remelt the room. Well, that's for so tomorrow, this... right? Yeah, that's not something yeah. I've got no more shit wood. Well, right. mind, mind you, don't put your foot down the hole in the floorboards. Why is there a hole in the floor? Well, you, you folded the floor up to make a cage. Yeah, but the floors are not that thin. Well, they might be thinner now, but... Yeah, they're definitely thinner yeah. now. At this point, Finn's just going to shake his head and go back to his room. Yeah, well, Brex is going to go back and watch. Margoth will yeah. uh, will be leaving. You'll hear her muttering and goblin as she's going, uh, Braxton. Yeah. What, what I'm going to have so many stories to tell. <laughs> like that that's that's in, in in an amused voice as in like I'm looking yeah. forward to uh having so many yeah. stories to tell. Yeah. Is she off shift or is she I suppose she doesn't have shifts. She, she doesn't have a shift, no. Uh, and she's told you that, I mean, like, uh, anytime you have a question on, on where to go or what to do or something like that, uh, she's told told you to, you know, just, like, wake her up if she's asleep yeah. or just get her kind of thing. So. Yeah. All right. So um, now for the rest of uh, second shift, you can go ahead and uh, move the ship. Margoth yes. is... I would have... Hold on. Margoth has indicated that you're going this way. Hang on, sorry. It's okay. That way. I would have yeah. used my memory okay. before my shift was done. Okay. All right. Ooh, another fire body. So yes, you can see um, that you're passing by what uh, a, a very large opening that leads to a an even larger cavern, um, and inside there is a uh, floating in this vast, vast cavern, uh, a, a relatively small in comparison, and in comparison to other worlds that you've been to, uh, a relatively yeah. small and not terribly bright fire body. But it is, you know, in comparison to, you know, everywhere else that you've been around here, yeah. it is quite bright. Braxton will ask if they named the, the uh, fire bodies. And, uh... Not really. No? Okay. Did my memory read fail? So I can just mark off a spell. Let's see. Yes, it did. Good yeah, where I, where I come from, they name all the celestial bodies. Oh, I'm aware. I, I know of other spheres. It is just not the way of this place. Yeah, it's a very unusual place. Very interesting.
All right, so uh, Margoth tells you that uh, it won't be long. It'll probably be uh, sometime the next day that you encounter uh, the other ship that uh, that you are to meet. Okay. Yeah, uh, Braxton will ask, ask Margoth, uh, do we need to take any precautions to make sure nobody's following us? Have you noticed anyone following you yet? Isn't that normal? something that you normally watch for? Well, we've got lookouts, but um, oh, well, I suppose Brax and I look backwards with his new spyglass. Yeah, you're not noticing anything. Yeah, and he'll let her have a look for his spyglass. <laughs> yeah, she's not. She... I mean, she's not. She's leaving it up to you to. Yeah. Monitor these he things. Can't. That's. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean he'll let he'll let her have a look. Um. Is there is there anyone in particular that is an enemy of your group that we might need to be aware of? All those who would enslave or conquer others would be uh, enemies. Mind right. flayers. Yeah, the mind flayers. Yeah. Old, just for note keeping, mm -hmm. if I. Obviously, the, the uh, shenanigans in my room would have taken up a significant portion of my day, my me cleaning up, so I would have just done jam cutting that day instead. Okay. So just make a note that that's what you're you're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, is there anything that anyone would want to do or get done uh, during that day of travel uh, that hasn't been mentioned yet? Um, yeah. Okay. So after he wakes up and does his meditations, Finn will go knock on Laftel's door. Uh, after this. Hello? So Obadhai has shown me a way to accelerate your plants. Shall we go see them? Mm, after stretches, yeah. I'm always interested. Well, we'll go to the berry bushes and Finn will cast Age Plant. Okay. Does that work on one or can you affect multiple? Uh, one per level. So, eight. Okay. Uh, I have four berry bushes and a harp plant. Okay. So that, that'll Although definitely work on the uh, the berry bushes. Yep. And Thanks though there. I could though I could change them by up to eighty years, I'm only going to go just enough to get them to bear fruit. Okay. Which is a week. That's how short they were. Same with the harp. I think so. You can only do one type of plant, I guess, or. Doesn't really state that, but. Yeah, if it doesn't say that, then I, that's, there, there probably isn't a restriction. Uh, in a lot of cases, there would be just a general restriction be... on, on the idea that if you're... Because I, I, I don't think you can choose different ages for them. So I think you'd no, be they're... aging them... Right, no, let me finish. Uh, you'd be aging them all at the same amount. So if you wanted to age a tree 80 years, aging a berry bush would kill it. <laughs> probably. So no, that would be kind of a restriction there. But if you're just going a week, then that's perfectly fine. I yep. just want to know if you could do the hard bushes. It'd just be easier for note keeping. So otherwise, I got weak variants. All right. Well, I can expand it into that then. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. Well, I can get healing med kit replacements because we have experimental stuff here. Yeah? We could just get more plants. I mean, if I mean, I've tried my hand at propagating them. I failed. I don't know if you'd have any better luck than me, Finn. Have yeah, you tried? I can, I can try. Have you tried no. romantic plant music? Uh, Finn's the expert on that. Finn won't even respond to that. Finn will just ask for Finn will just ask for an empty bed filled with dirt. All right, what kind of herb plants are these again? Yeah, just my healing proficiency herb plants. Okay. The uh, replacements for that. It's just a bag supply, so if I'm 
I don't mind splitting at least four of them with right. Solus seeking as four right. regular healing things. Um, so Finn, is that what you want to spend like uh, your next shift on looking into? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Finn, do you have uh, agriculture? I do not. Okay. Um, do you have any other plant-related proficiencies? Herbalism is about it. I'll let you roll that. Okay. Since they are herb plants. Pretty much what I did last time, but I think there was a penalty for me. Although I have gone up levels since. Alright, uh, Finn, um... You definitely cannot do it with this amount of darkness. You will need natural sunlight uh, to to perform uh, such a thing. And even then, um, you're not sure that they're going to take. Um, just because of uh, putting them into pl uh, pots, just so that the nature of these plants, they're... they're, they're um, you know, once they're growing, then they're pretty pretty good. But trying to, to propagate them into another uh, pot is just kind of iffy. Uh, like they get transplanted easily, but they're they're very very difficult to actually grow a new one outside of a natural environment. He couldn't age plant them, could he? What the the, the the attempt at propagation, so it starts to take, then you just accelerate it before it dies off. Or... Uh, I I, I don't want to go from seed. So yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if the spell would work number one for that point. Uh, normally, but I think in this case, it it's not going like you would still be under the the constraints of the normal thing. So aging a plant, like, you know, if you planted a sapling in the desert that needs actual dirt and you age it a year, it's just going to die. You know, if you took a, 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 a tree that needs tons of water and uh, temperate climate and you took it to a, a tropical desert and put it in sand, it's just going to die if you age it. Because it, it doesn't get around the, ele you know, the, the needs of that plant. Okay. Well, I'll just let Laftel know mm -hmm. that uh, there's nothing I can do at this time. Yeah, I was in the same boat when I tried, but then again, I'm less experienced with plants than you are. Well, I'll explain to him why. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's a shame I should have got more plants. Well, this is before you and Solus joined when I got them. Pretty, I mean, they'd be pretty easily available back on on Brawler, or if you ended up on a, a terrestrial world, you could probably find something, some equivalent or similar plant. I don't know how many good berries I can get from one plant, but I know I could cast six, but I don't know if you were extending it to however many we memorized between us. Uh... Well, he aged up all the plants. Oh. Well, I assume that's just putting them in rotation. Or are they all in bloom now? You have, do you have four exactly? Yeah, I've got four, and they each bloom each month, so they're on a rotation. Yeah, I so, just so I, I think... Plant right, but he, he aged them by a week, so oh. it just... Yeah. I mean, you said you, you, said you had four, week. and he could do more than one, so... Yeah. Um, just doing them Everything's, all week, just for, yeah. e you know, for ease of your, your tracking purposes... Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just gonna keep the same rotation. That one. Yeah. yeah that's fine. I just w want to know how many good berry spells I need to memorize tomorrow. So just do usual six. Or... Yeah. Right. I mean, you don't have to take them all as good berries. You can oh, also I'm gonna use take food. I'm gonna take them all as six. I mean, right. it only happens like once a month. So okay. They can be used for healing and stuff. All right. Um, question for you, Laftor. If you make if you get berries on the plant, 
and you don't pick them, do they not just stay there so that they're there when you need them? How long would they stay there, old? They'd probably stay at least a week. All right. And like when you when you take them and you cast a spell on them, do they last forever? Sorry, could you... I was reading a message. Uh, what if, about... if you if you if, when you pick them and you cast a Goodbury spell on them, do they last forever? They don't they last. Do that. The, they last about just over a week with my current aptitude of magic. So if if you don't need them all and you hang on to them, you can possibly eke them out by two weeks. Oh, so yeah, I, I could. I mean, I probably will just cast one good berries, because the intention is just to give them to Slythia, because they're yeah. quite nourishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if that magic works on her, despite her not being able to eat food, you might be able to give her one a day or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. I'll buy out of your business. No, no, no. It's always nice to have insight. I mean, eventually they'll over-ripen and... and... Yeah, fall no, off and no. stuff like that. So yeah, but I mean, yeah. you'd have at least a week. I don't. But you've got other spells, haven't you? That um, that either you or someone else can cast and stop food going off. Would that stop? Yeah, that would bear? stop the effect of the magic working. They have to be freshly picked berries. Ah, uh, right. I see. And freshly, so the freshly get... picked is is you know it's it, like it's not literally pick them and then use them like it it. They'll be considered fresh for at least a day. Yeah. So if you picked them today and you cast a spell tomorrow, I would consider that close enough to, to fresh to, to count for the spell. But yeah, you can't cast a spell, like pick them, cast a spell to preserve them. They're, they're, you know, they may be just as good by the time that preservation ends. If Let's just say it's a week. I don't know how long. It doesn't matter. Um then they would still no longer be fresh for the spell. So, left to, can you cast these on any sort of berries, these spells? Oh. Hang on. Any I'm, edible berries? Multiple people talking. Like, I've got like so many PMs and people <laughs> asking me questions at the same time. Overwork me. Ask me in game. I am. Uh, no, Finn. No, no right. ask me. Um, what were you asking, Praxon? Um, <laughs> I was saying, can you cast that good berry spell on different sorts of berries? Yeah, as long as they're ripe berries. So if we get other berry plants, maybe we can get berries that are good for something. The idea with these is that they were space worthy. Yeah, that's why they cost a small fortune. I can't remember. Did they cost like eight hundred gold or like two hundred gold? I'd have to go back yeah. and look. I have them somewhere. But mm. maybe there's maybe there's berries that are, that are good for something else that you can use for good berry spells or use for something else. I mean, I think it when I cast a good berry, it it basically nullifies any previous effect it had. Oh, I understand that. I mean, I mean, if there is a berry that is good for something else, if not with a good berry spell. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Until you encounter a berry that's good for something else, as in something that is not a real-world thing, Okay. don't consider it. Same thing for wood, same thing for other plants. Don't consider it, because they're only going to okay. show up if uh, it if makes sense for... Up. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, if I let them show up, but if it makes sense for the location, the adventure, and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Otherwise... Everything that you encounter is going to essentially have its real, the the real, you know, real world functionality. So we oh, need to buy so some of the, them are the... some are poisonous, some are, are edible, yes. and some are just oh, like you can eat them, but they taste terrible and and stuff like that. When so. you cast good berry on them, they also get rid of any bad effects they would have otherwise had. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. Also, I can't actually remember these bushes every week or they every month. Their month. So they ripen every four months if they only had one. Yeah, you have ones that you 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 got them so yeah. they they. I had them every month. I think so. So I was yeah. trying to figure out what Salem was asking me. 
Well, well, ask me. In no, game. actually, I think that you actually you had them set up so that they ripened once a week. And yeah, so the, there was a herb bush that was once a month. Because yeah, I think that's right. I'll need to go back and see if I I have notes yeah. on this. Let's not worry about it for now. No, I'm not, I'm not first. suffice to say that there are berries. Yeah. All right, so uh, you've got a uh, um, a day of travel ahead of you. Is there anything that uh, anyone wants to do during this day, or at least during first shift? Norfin, Ocker, and Solus are on shift. Okay. Mm. The same things that I've uh, told you previously. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Let me uh, check something. All right. Uh, so Margoth will be indicating to, um, I guess, Ocker uh, right now, since uh, he's on uh, duty as uh, acting captain. Uh, that you'll be entering a uh, a narrow cavern passage over here. Oh, so we're doubling back on ourselves. We're meeting a ship before we go to the airport. Right. So obviously they're going to be out of like the way of being randomly attacked. So is there anything that you want to do, or uh, are you just going to head there? Um, right, um, we should check with, uh, we should check with Margoth whether we look, um, scary. Might be some things we can do so that we don't look like we're going to attack them. I think signaling is for that. I think yeah. the uh, Goblin Lady indicated what kind kind of ship they should be expecting. An unusual ship, not from the sphere. Looks like a double. And again, Goblin signaling Lady. is most likely for that. Yeah. Oh, have you been picking up Goblin's version of signaling? Um, Braxton, Braxton will ask for Rax is going to ask for lookouts to be looking around us in other directions in case anyone's trying to follow us. So, I mean, this is now. this is first shift, so Braxton, are you staying oh, up for first shift? Sorry. No, sorry. He'll be asleep. I mean, you can you can have like Margoth would be indicating to you before you'd go to sleep what's yeah. likely to happen and um there's nothing wrong with you being woken up when something happens, uh, but are there any preparations that you would want to have Ocker make going into this? Because you're still a few hours away. A number of hours away. Well, well that's the only thing you might suggest to Ocker, is to check that there's nobody trying to follow us. Okay. Take, take advantage of us having a meeting with these guys. Okay, I guess I can do that. All right. Then you can just go ahead and uh, move over to the uh, the entrance there, Braxton. Yeah, one second, on the wrong tab. Uh, <laughs> the arrow's moving. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, I'm going there, right? Okay. It's only six hours, so... Oh. Oh. All right, let me see how much of that is actually showing up, because uh, there might be some funkiness. It looks like there might be some funkiness with the uh, thing. Uh, no, okay. No transparency. No, it's... I it's, can see it. Yeah, no, it, it's, it looked weird because of the uh, the light being shown from the uh, uh, other thing. All right, so um, you uh, come around and uh, into a cave. Let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like. There's a... Uh, a cave. It's pretty well hidden, so if mm -hmm. you were just flying by, you're you, 
you might notice that there's an indentation, but wouldn't necessarily notice that there's a cave there. Uh, in fact, part of that is because the light from the uh, the distant fire body uh, creates some pretty deep shadows right around there. Pretty easy right. to, to miss this. Um, but Margoth indicates that uh, uh, for you to go into the cave. And as you do, um, she would suggest to Ocker that uh, uh, anyone not on duty might be might want to be woken up because you will be meeting her her friends shortly. Is there anyone who would not want to be woken up on? I guess I should put it that way. Okay, I'll take that as a no one. Alright, so everyone is woken up, um, and not too long after you enter the cave, uh, you do spot um, a another vessel hanging there in... Uh, pretty well hidden. Uh, it is shaped like a bird, and Braxen, mm -hmm. uh, give me a carpentry check. Okay. We'll determine how much you know about this. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's my aim? It's above. Uh, I know you. You. You got it. You know my stats better than me. Yep. All right. So, um, Braxton, you uh, you recognize um, uh, this type of ship? Uh, it's a, it's a Shrike ship. Yeah, it is a Shrike ship. You recognize that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you might feel a little bit more uh, sheepish about that whole um, trying to explain uh, a bird to someone who obviously knows what birds are uh, now yeah. that you see this. However, um, it is a, it is probably not a ship type that you might have expected to see here. Uh, it is a halfling design. Uh, it's not a new one. It's, it's reasonably old, um, so far as you know. Um, Exactly how old you can't say, but um, you, you've heard certainly heard uh, or maybe seen some that are were said to be over a century old. So, um, right, it's by no means a new design. So, yeah, uh, but still, seeing it here might be a little bit of a oh, that's unusual. And um, so it, yeah, is it looking? Is it looking sort of? Is it showing its age? This one you can't tell yet. Right. Okay. Um, just that uh, you know that the design, the design, oh, the design is, not... is a thousand years old. But this could be no, new. no, no. I didn't say a thousand. Uh, the the design itself, uh, you you know of some ships, or maybe you've seen uh, ships said to be uh, over a hundred years old of this type. Yeah. So the design itself is certainly older than that. How old exactly you don't know, but. Um, yeah. Uh, and it certainly is popular with uh, uh, not just halflings, but uh, um, elves and humans, uh, gnomes, and, and some dwarves like it as well. Uh, so as you are moving in, you see this uh, kind of, you know, move out of the darkness and begin to approach, and Margoth will say, Those are my friends. Uh, may I signal to them? Oh, be my guest. Um... Braxton will bring his lantern. Okay. So, so would you like to use my lantern? Yes, please. So she will take it from you and, and quickly signal. Uh, you can't make out exactly what's being signaled. Could um, he learn? He could learn, but this is... Not th this quickly. Yeah. Um, and it signals back, and uh, it, it moves in uh, to pull up alongside you. Mm. Unless you have some objection to that. No. Okay. Just wanted to check. And uh, as it does, um, you can see that uh, uh, the crew uh, consists of um, a mixed group. Um, you see a couple hobgoblins, uh, you see some goblins, some kobolds, and uh, some misshapen figures that you realize are probably mongrel men making up the crew. Mm -hmm. And it pulls up alongside you and uh, 
a fairly well dressed um, female hobgoblin uh, calls from a um, you know just across on on her deck and says, uh, "Captain Mofalara here. Uh, permission to come aboard and." address the company of the broken sword what language is she using uh she is speaking goblin braxton will answer and say permission granted uh you're welcome to come on board uh would you like to bring some of your officers with you uh, she signals to one of the, uh, the mongrel men who, uh, follows, um, just my first officer. And they will, they will come aboard and, uh, uh, she'll hold out her hand to you, Braxen. Um, yeah. you're, you know, you, the, the way you, you stand and you might have some sort of, uh, yeah, Braxen to say, I'm thing indicating you're the I'm... captain. I'm Braxton Miak, captain of the uh, Company of the Broken Sword. Welcome aboard. And he'll say, um, he'll repeat that in common, and say, this is Captain Mothalarin. I'll go ahead and put that into chat for you guys, what her name is. Probably spelt completely differently to me, to how I've spelt it. There you go. Oh, yes. Um, and uh, she says, um, I have received word of, uh, from Margoth that uh, you are looking for some information and might be willing to perform a service in exchange for it. Is that true? Yes, that's true. We've been thrown across the crystal spheres by a cosmic storm and uh, we find ourselves here and we need to get home yes yes uh, you definitely do look out of place I have never seen a ship quite like yours either it is a fairly new design it is impressive thank you Can we meet? Do you have uh, a conference room or some such that we can discuss? The yes, issues? Uh, we've got one in here. Um, do you speak? I don't suppose you speak common, so we'd have to translate. Uh, I suppose Braxton will translate a bit for her for the officers. Um, Margoth can as well. Yeah, since Margoth speaks common. Uh, did you want to yeah. take her to your quarters, or did you, were you taking her down to like the officers' mess? Um, I suppose the officers' mess is nicer, isn't it? Oh, we can go to Brax's quarters because it's on the same deck. Okay, entirely up to you. Yeah, we'll go to Brax's quarters on the same deck. A okay. bit easier. All right. So uh, Bra Braxton Braxton uh, says to a first officer uh, in Goblin, "I didn't catch your name, sir." Ah, uh, he cannot speak. Oh, right. Okay. What is he referred to as? How do we address? Uh, give me a second. Just a second. Uh, do do do. His name is Grelick. Grelick. Welcome aboard, Grelick. He was once uh, owned by a quite cruel Fomorian master. Uh, he has been. Mm. He was rescued and serves quite ably as a uh, first officer. Yeah. We don't like people who claim to own people around here. We've um, we've rescued uh, enslaved people in the past. It's a bit risky, but it's uh, it it feels good when you do it. Very admirable. Is is that what you did here? 
No, no, he was rescued by someone other than me. Right. Uh, so you've gone to your quarters, um, and uh, yeah, uh, everyone else is welcome. Obviously, Braxton would have said that yeah. before. I, I think I think all the PCs would be there just in case mm -hmm. anyone has any questions. Um, either you or Margoth will be uh, translating. It, it's not going to be that important. Um, so I, I would say only if you have a question. You know, if you want to say something or have a question that you're specifically not wanting to be translated say that beforehand, otherwise the assumption is that everything's going to be translated and there's really no communication yeah. errors here. Yeah, and if we got Margoth in the room, probably nobody can say anything that they want to get keep secret. <laughs> You're just saying Elvish or Dwarven. That's true. Does everyone in the party speak Kelvin and Dwarven? I think so. Does Finn speak Kelvin and Dwarven? I Finn think speaks both. Alright, so everyone does. <laughs> no, Bella doesn't speak dwarf. Just... Yeah, she does. She doesn't speak elven yet, does she? Yeah, she does now. She <laughs> learned it. <laughs> but uh, question, old. Mm -hmm. How many sentences in one language does uh, does uh, Braxton need to hear before he starts to understand it? It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty instantaneous. Um... It's just a, a thing that if he's trying to eavesdrop, it's slower than if he's getting into an initiated conversation that he is having. So if if Leva were to inter, uh, to to ask a question in illicit trade talk, would he understand it? You'd have to uh, indicate to him beforehand. But if he didn't know, if it wasn't warned, then uh, then he wouldn't understand it. <laughs> Not right away, no. <laughs> Would he understand he'd have to make, the, it, the, he'd the have to make an effort. And he might miss the, the beginning or the first sentence or something like that. Oh, he, would hear the, he would understand the response in that case. If he made an attempt to, to do so. It's not automatic. He has to want to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... You. Would we're trying to understand? Oh, I don't suppose Brack's gonna know. Where uh, what I'm thinking is whether Brack's and trying to think of another language would stop him from learning Goblin. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't disrupt that. Okay. Because you don't need to be concentrating on that twenty four seven. It's just that yeah. using your ring while learning another language speeds the process up. <laughs> Okay, however, it is about time for us to take our break, so I think we'll have the conversation uh, when we come back from our break. That'll give you guys some time to uh, think of questions that you might want to ask, uh, yeah. details that uh, you might want, depending on what you know request is made of you, uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, for Lever to figure out a way to not have Brax and listen to her. She could say, look, there's some really interesting planks outside the room <laughs> i mean doing it in a in a big room with uh, everyone else there is at a minimum gonna look very suspicious so keep yeah. that in mind <laughs> yeah. so we'll be back in about 10 minutes everyone uh, go ahead and grab yourself something to drink or uh whatever and we will be back very shortly